Here's an example of a sorting drag and drop interaction that requires learners to identify items by dragging them either into the file cabinet or the wastebasket, right? Which items are you going to keep and which items are you going to discard? So let's look at how easy it is to build something like this and articulate storyline. Okay, so the only thing I'm starting with in this example um, are just a couple icons, one for the trash can and one for the file cabinet. Uh, storyline doesn't care. You can use any type of image or graphic or even vector shape for your drop target. So uh, it's really up to you and what, how you want to customize it. So the first thing we want to do is just insert our note card, and I'm going to use the built-in shapes for this and just drag it up a little bit like that. And let's just type in note one. By typing the text on the shape, it's actually going to make it really easy for us to update the uh, text labels, the note card labels, when we duplicate these uh, note cards. So two states I want to add to this. I'm going to come down here to states. I want to add the drop correct and the drop incorrect. Those are visual feedbacks that enable you to show the learner, hey, you got this in the right place or you got this in the wrong place before they actually submit the interaction. So here's how this works. New state. And let's select from the drop down, drop correct, add, and I'll customize this color to, well, a good correct color, which is green. And I'll make one more state and I'll call this one drop incorrect, add. And then we can make this one, guess what color, guess, red, right? So not the right choice, the right choice. Done editing states. And let's go ahead and duplicate this, let's say, two more times, okay? And um, here's what's nice about this. Now I can change the text label, and you'll see that note card two all the way across. We'll make one change right here, note three, and there's note three. It makes it really easy so we don't have to uh, dive into the states each time we want to make a text change. So just another one of those production tips. If it works for you, keep it. So I'm just going to work with three, right? Just the, the idea is the same. And I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a free form. Now, free form means that we can now create some kind of custom activity out of the objects on the slide. We don't actually have to uh, follow a form. We can design this any way we like, which is what we've done. Now we want to convert it to a drag and drop free form. First thing we want to do is select our drag items. And so I know that rectangle note one is a drag item. I know that rectangle two and rectangle three. So let's just make one and two, right? Go to the file cabinet and one and two will go file cabinet and then note three is going to the trash. And you can notice that over here, it hi highlights it over here in the little preview window, which makes it really easy to identify your objects. So for the most part, this is set up. The one thing we wanna change though, one thing we wanna also do is come up here to the drag and drop options and we want to uncheck this option for feedback, delay item drop states. We want to show the drop states when the learner makes those decisions. So as soon as they drop the, the, the correct or incorrect note cards on one of the drop targets, we want that, that state change to say, hey, nope, this is not right, or hey, this is great, good job, keep, keep doing what you're doing. And we can play with different options here for how we want these to stack. Free probably works pretty well here. But um, you know, there's just some different ways that you can have those, those note cards display when they're dropped on the actual targets. Go ahead and click OK. Preview the slide. OK, so let's test it out. We know that note card 1 and 2 are supposed to go to the file cabinet. So if I drag 1 on, two, on the file cabinet, it should turn green. If I drag it over here to the red, uh, trash can, it goes red, which means it doesn't belong. Note card 2 should also go on the file cabinet. And note card three should go over here on the trash can. If I bring it here, it's incorrect. So you see how the visual feedback indicates where each of these goes. And when I click submit and actually commit to this interaction, I get my feedback. And that's really how easy it is to build a sorting drag and drop interaction in Articulate Storyline.